Thank you. You may now be seated. Here are some announcements for this week. Uh, to any student interested in trying out for the 2022-2023 Junior Charms team must attend the meeting held on April 19th at 6 p.m. in the BMSS library. A parent or guardian must be present at the meeting with you. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Abshire or Ms. Bowles. They are looking forward to a new season and a new team. Good job to all the 8th grade soccer boys and girls who took on Voss Middle School yesterday. This week was National Assistance Principal Week. We appreciate Mr. Wingfield and Ms. Von Tetcher for all they do at BMSS. They help us with so many behind the scenes needs, planning, staff development, schedules, and so much more. If you see Ms. Von Tetcher or Mr. Wingfield, please give them a big thank you. April is the month of military child made to honor our military children. We use this month to, of April to acknowledge how much military children must adapt and overcome the hardships of transitioning due to the multiple moves they must take while serving alongside their families. This month is our opportunity to celebrate their, their strength and courage to show our appreciation. We invite everyone to join us wearing purple on April 15th to show your support for Kids Military Day. Congratulations to everyone who made yearbook set for 2022-2023. People wishing to be on the Drama Club team next year, please email or in person speak to Ms. Megan about Drama Club. People wishing to enroll must turn in out the application by the end of the month. Eighth grade students will be taking, taking their panoramic group picture next Tuesday, April 12th, during their study hall. Be ready for this awesome group photo and follow all instructions given. Bring your big smiles. The ASO Word of the Week is Easter. This is how you sign it. The Spanish word of the day is congenta. This means little bunny in Spanish. Hey, Jenna, want to hear a joke? Hmm, sure. What happened to the Easter bunny when he misbehaved at school? Uh, I don't know, Claire. What? He was expelled. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, but I got a better one. How does Easter bunny keep his fur looking so nice? Hmm, I don't know, Jenna. How? He uses hairspray. <laughs> Here are some more Easter facts. Did you know that the tallest Easter chocolate Easter egg was measured at 10 meters? This is half the size of a semi-truck. Wow, it's a big chocolate Easter egg. To all my peep fans, more than 1.5 billion peeps are consumed around the world. There are enough peeps made in a year that they can wrap around the whole world twice. Wow, talk about peeps. I love peeps. Jenna, did you also know that 180 million number of eggs are bought for Easter dyeing every year? Wow, that's a lot of chickens. And 5 million Cadbury eggs are made, or 500 million Cadbury eggs are made, and 600,000 are made an hour, which equals to the weight of three elephants. Now here's the question of the day. What is the most consumed Easter candy? Hmm, I don't know, but we'll answer to at the end. Starting Monday, April 11th, Student Council will be raising money for Mercy Corps. Mercy Corps is a nonprofit organization that is that is on the ground in Ukraine, Romania, and Poland, providing fund, funding to local organizations and working to meet the most urgent needs for Ukraine refugees in the region. How do we raise money, you ask? Two words, Penny, Penny wars. wars. During Penny Wars, each grade will have their own jug for collecting money. Students will be able to donate pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, dollar bills before they go to lunch, before school and during lunch, gain points by adding coins to your grade's jug, sabotage other grades by adding bills to their jugs. The grade who raises the most money by Thursday, April 14th, will be win a Kalani frozen yogurt party in May. So search your couch cushions, empty your piggy banks, and donate to the great cause. Thanks and go Chargers. Now off to Grace for our counselor quick bit. This nine weeks we'll focus on relationship skills. Everyone say it, relationship skills. Last week we talked about the importance of communication in relationships. Another piece to this is active listening. Active listening depends on the ability to consciously make the effort to hear and comprehend what the other person is saying and respond appropriately. So often we get busy in our lives and we don't take time to truly listen to others. You can be a better listener by stopping what you are doing and looking at the individual. You can also give good eye contact. 
Being a good listener is important to any relationship. Now back to Jenna and Claire. Thank you, guys. The answer to the question of the day is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That's all our announcements for this week. Till next Tuesday. Gotta go, Buffalo. Take care, Teddy Bear. Be sweet, Parakeet. Toodaloo, Kangaroo. Peace, Peace out, Chargers. Bye. Bye.